Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 27, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the Cravage Pound and the US dollar. So the US dollar has been appreciating significantly today, and that, of course, has affected most of these currency pairs. So we can see that the Cravage Pound US dollar is down 0.28%. Uh, percent we're approaching uh, the 20 exponential moving average trading at 14.12 and uh, we're also approaching the middle of the bullish band here if you look at technical indicators we can see that macd has crossed the signal line that's a bearish indication rsi is bearish cci is becoming bearish and the stochastic is also bearish so momentum is definitely to the downside the question is whether or not we break the 20 exponential then we'll probably go to 40 50 and 100 down here should be as far as this will go that is where we have found major support in the past. To the upside, if we manage to take out these previous highs here, then we are going significantly higher. But that will probably be a long time from now. It looks like momentum is definitely to the downside, and therefore it's kind of expected for this to, to continue breaking down. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. We can see that this has rallied up towards the 50 moving average, trading at 109 at this current stage. If we break above the 50 moving average, then we will probably go up towards these previous highs here at 109, uh, 721. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around. So this has been a very good rally today, 0.31% to the outside. We have broken the middle of the bullish band, and we could head towards the top of the bullish band, which is also the previous highs here. Technical indicators otherwise are all have all turned around. So let's look at the euro US dollar. So this has also fallen quite a bit. We tested the previous highs here of 12.25 and then got rejected there. And then we fell all the way down towards where we are now at 12.19. Technical indicators, they are uh, turning around at this point. MACD is crossing the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. RSI is bearish. CCI is becoming bearish. And the stochastic is crossing uh, the signal line, becoming bullish. So fairly mixed signals here. But we are pulling back uh, towards the middle of the bullish band. That could be another drop off. Well, not far only 0.09%. But if the, 50, uh, 20, the 20 exponential moving average breaks, then we could head towards the 40. That's another drop of 0.78% to the downside. If we manage to take out these previous highs, then we are most likely going to target 12.35. So let's look at Aussie US dollar. And you can see that we have broken down yet again. We have been rallying the last two trading days, but now we just pull back towards the 100 moving average, and uh, we basically found support at the 150 moving average. So there's nothing really been happening here for the Aussie US dollar. We have been trading within this kind of square for a very long time now, and we basically need to break below the 150 to go to 200 and 300, or break above these resistance lines in order to go to 0.80. And uh, none of that is really happening this, at this point. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is bullish at this point. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we have started to rally, rally which uh, was expected. Usually when this hangs at, hangs at a certain point, it breaks to the downside. And also for the downside, when we hang at the lower part, it basically breaks to the upside. So... At this point, we are testing the 20 exponential moving average. And we, if that breaks, we could go to the 40, which is at 12.25, and then the 50 right here, which also should be the resistant, resistant line, which is roughly, give or take, at this point, 12.33. So that's also, we'll be basically getting very overstretched here. But first of all, we need to break the middle of the bullish band in order to go higher. Technical indicators, they are all turning around um, and uh, are favoring the upside at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And uh, good luck and thank you very much.